If you guys would like to know how to make some beautiful, delicious, crispy shrimp, stay tuned to this video and I will teach you how to make some delicious, beautiful, crispy, flat, colossal shrimp. Y'all can see how beautiful this is. Stay tuned to my channel. Watch this video to the end. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to make us some shrimp. I got some colossal shrimp from um, Walmart. They are already clean, peeled, and deveined. Well, I had to peel them. They deveined them. They easy peel shrimp and I rinsed them off and I laid them on the paper towel to try to get some of the excess water off of them. Okay. So, the ingredients that you're going to need, you're going to need some panko breadcrumbs, okay? Here I have some breadcrumbs. You're going to need some flour. I have self-rising flour. I have two beaten eggs. And for my seasoning that I chose, I am using some lemon pepper seasoning okay some black pepper some old bay paprika for color and parsley flakes for decorations okay so i also have my oil heating up you want it to heat up to about 350 degrees fahrenheit so, while that's heating up, we're going to go ahead and we are going to cook our shrimp. So, what I like to do is season my um, flour. So, I'm going to put some of this lemon pepper seasoning in here. Okay, I had to open the other side. Okay, so got that lemon pepper seasoning. We're going to put some black pepper. Don't go too heavy handed with the black pepper because it's some black pepper and the lemon pepper seasoning. Then I'm going to put some Old Bay on here. Not like this little, you know, Old Bay is spicy. So to make the shrimp kind of spicy. Okay. I'm going to put a little bit on my shrimp. Just a little bit. Okay. Then I'm adding the paprika for color. Nothing else. Just to add some color. Okay. So that's what that's for to help darken up that flour. And what I'm going to do now is mix this together, y'all. seasoning into this flour nicely because I love shrimp this is one of my favorite things to cook and the type of oil that I'm using is a mixture of some oils that I had at home um, it's mainly vegetable oil and Crisco so that's the oil that I'm using okay When you season your flour, it makes the shrimp taste really, really good. So make sure you season, season your flour as well as your shrimp, okay? Okay, so I got that mixed together. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and add some of this black pepper and the lemon pepper to my shrimp too. I wasn't at first, but I thought about it. Yeah, go ahead and add the seasoning to it. Okay, so now we got everything seasoned. So what we are going to do now that everything is seasoned, you guys 
see how I got this shrimp season. Move this closer. Yeah, I see that. Okay. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your shrimp. Okay. You're gonna dip it in your flour. Put some flour on your shrimp. Make sure that it's dry so the flour can stick to the shrimp, y'all. Okay. Let that sit there for a minute and then go on to another shrimp. Okay. Sit that to the side. Okay. You're going to flour up all of your shrimp. Okay. I don't know if you guys can see it good. We'll move over to the side. So. See how we got that shrimp season? I mean flower with the seed flower season. Let me do one more for y'all. With the flower. Okay. Now we got that done. Then we're gonna take it, shake the excess flour off like that of your shrimp. And you're going to submerge your shrimp in the egg wash, okay? Okay, we dipped it in the egg wash, shut the excess egg wash off. Lay it on the breadcrumb, then cover it with breadcrumb. You don't have to really worry about that tail going in the egg wash. You just want the body of the meat of the shrimp covered. By the bread crumbs. That's it. Okay. See? Okay. Okay. And that's our shrimp. That's coated with the bread crumbs and the flour. And that breadcrumbs was gonna help add an extra crunch. Okay. Shake the excess off. Cover your shrimp like this. Okay, y'all. Uh, egg wash. Shake excess egg off. Then go ahead and put your panko bread crumbs on here. sit there for a minute. I'm going to go ahead and finish my shrimps up. And then I'll, let me do this last one for y'all. Like I said, you don't have to worry about the tail too much. Okay? So we have these breaded up, and what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and finish breading up off camera, and then we're going to go ahead and fry our shrimp. Okay, so our oil is ready, and what I'm going to do is go ahead and drop my shrimp into my basket that I have here. It only takes shrimp at the most five minutes to cook. 
and you have it on a medium heat. Okay, make sure it gets up to 375 degrees heat. That's the temperature you want it at. Okay, depending on the size basket that you use, you don't necessarily have to have a basket. I just chose this so that I can easily get it out. Okay. At the most, three to five minutes, because these are raw. Okay, these are raw shrimp. Okay, you can hear the sizzling. You can see um, the sizzling. Um, that's how you know your oil is ready. Okay, see that? So it's cooking. When the tail turns orange and shrimp starts to float, that's when you know that it, it is um, done. And make sure that it's golden brown, okay? So cook this about three minutes at the most, five, it just depends. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys something, okay? See the tail? See how that tail is turning orange? This lets you know that it's almost done, okay? But we're waiting for that crispy golden brown color, okay? Remember, three to five minutes. And if you're deep frying, you don't know how to flip them, you know? I just want you guys to see what they look like. Okay. And they're gonna be very pretty. And they're gonna be very, very delicious, okay? Okay, you guys, so our shrimp are ready to be taken out. And I'm gonna take them out so you guys can see them. Okay. See how pretty that is? Ooh, the oil, I'm sorry. But see how pretty that is? Okay. Our shrimp are done. So big. I got these shrimp at Walmart. Okay, you guys, this is my step-by-step -step tutorial on how to make some delicious fried shrimp. I hope you guys like this video. Please subscribe to my channel. Leave lots of comments down below. Share this video out with each and every one that you know. And come back to my channel for another video. Cooking with Mama TK, TK and TK. I'll tell you guys, have a safe and wonderful day. Today is Sunday, and I'm going to enjoy this day before I go to work. Don't forget to subscribe.